Hey guys, Kevin with Forever Green Indoors. Thought I'd do a quick garden update. It's been about a week and a half. Took a little vacation, came back, uh, and these cherry tomatoes have gone crazy. Uh, we have them on full automation, both water and feed, and we're using the Teros 12 sensor with the Arroyo Solus product to really try to steer, uh, crop steer this garden for the very first time. And we've learned some really interesting things. And I think the one thing that surprised me the most is that we're able to let these plants uh, in these fabric pots with cocoa and then a rock wool cube inside get all the way down to about 18% moisture level, which is really low. You can actually just pick the, the plant pots up. They, they weigh nothing. And that is a lot lower moisture content than I would have done if I didn't have a tool like this. Uh, I would have been concerned that the plants were just way too dry when you did a, you know, a pot lift test. Um, so they've been tolerating it really well. We're trying to elicit a stress response uh, by lack of watering, which forces them to try to reproduce even harder. And if you take a look at the, uh, the canopy here, it looks fantastic. It's flowering. It's, uh, it's clearly doing everything that we want it to do. And, and there is fruit now coming in on some of the branches. I think in about a week and a half or two weeks, we'll have a lot of red tomatoes in here, which will be pretty cool. So uh, we then get it back up to about a 50% moisture content level. And that's when we're seeing the EC levels just lower than we'd like them to be. So even though the plants are growing fantastic and the watering level is dialed in, the feeding is still not quite where it needs to be. So we do have some new liquid fertilizer that we're gonna begin using this week. And we're gonna push these things even harder. So I imagine they're gonna get thirstier. We're gonna find that they're gonna be getting down to that 18% a lot faster. We're going to need to go to more frequent waterings, probably multiple daily waterings instead of every other day. But it's been great. It's been really interesting, and I'm really glad to have this product by Arroya. It's, it's really a, an invaluable tool to have in your garden. So thanks for tuning in. Kevin Sullivan with Forever Indoors, and happy St. Patrick's Day.